Well, hello. Nice to meet you. I've been waiting. And now you've acquired the most interesting power. You truly are an intriguing one. Fascinating. In the moments where your heart is most gripped by the book, I can reach out to you. My name is Moore, and I am the humble author of the novel you've been reading. You stand now in my study. Oh? Quite something, isn't it? A hall of wisdom, purpose-built for the research of certain powers. I call it academia. Alas, it's as much a prison as it is a library. His most merciful majesty saw fit to lock me in this place. It has me a bit addled, honestly. I no longer remember where in the kingdom my study actually lies. I never imagined my voice would reach beyond these walls. Until you appeared. And now, by whatever strange forces are afoot, I can speak directly to your mind. So, what would you say to an alliance? Uh... Kind of alliance. What kind of alliance. There must be more you wish to know. For instance, the nature of this fascinating power you've awakened to. I believe you have found a way to wield true magic. You need no petty conduit of mortal make. You can even change your appearance using the raw magma within. It is above all a mystic, long hidden art. Now the stuff of legend. What I have come to call. Archetypes. Archetypes? A spirit of heroic virtue. A transformative power that manifests only in those who embody the heroes and kings of old in some core aspect. Heroes of antiquity are often depicted as near mythic figures with forms transcending the mortal. These accounts are no mere allegory, but truth. However, None of my records describe anyone wielding such power as freely as you. Perhaps you are meant for not just proficiency, but mastery. In their truest form, archetypes represent the power of a true hero. One who can drive away calamity and evil in this world, no matter its form. Indulge me this request, and I believe my dream may yet be possible. Together, we can restore the kingdom's ideals. I shall gladly provide you knowledge and assistance to master your newfound power. So what say you? Will you take my hand in friendship? Can I reject him? Not much choice. Uh, okay. Okay. The bargain is struck then. I hear a voice from somewhere. The scholar in search of utopia. More. Within him dwells the virtue of the seeker. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Okay. Power of friendship. Now let's see what manner of story you'll be. The party can now study the seeker once unlocked in academia. Allows the party to change between archetypes once unlocked in academia. I can sense a hero, heroic embodiment of the Seeker and Moore. Moore is the first... Uh, sorry, I keep forgetting his name is Moore. Moore is the first of your followers, people that support your quest as steadfast allies that you can grow closer to. Strengthening your bonds while with your followers will lead to unlocking various abilities that can change the shape of your journey. Moore is just the first of many, so keep an eye out. We'll meet again, I'm sure. Here's to our joined path, and the thrills that yet lie ahead. The royal funeral draws ever closer. Five days remain. Flames Day. Already then? From here on, we travel in secret. If we are to get back into the capital, We'll have to do it undetected, so we'll cut through the forest, 
Find the abandoned mine shaft in the mountain and take the tunnel to the other side. Got it. Anyway, they'll never see us coming, huh? Lad, you'll be our vanguard. It'll be a trial by fire. But the sooner you get used to that power, the better. Speaking of, you were talking like you know something about it. Mm, not much. Just what I've picked up from missions in the early days. I've only heard it's a power found in those who walk a righteous path. Sounded like superstition to me. But everything's always clearer on the battlefield. Once I saw it in action, I could tell it was no fable. Never thought it'd come back to haunt me. Despite all my training and research, I never managed to master it myself. Huh. It really is something special, then. Don't forget. One wrong move, and I'll cut you down. I'm aware. I'm more <laughs> Yes, I get it. Just trust me. All right? Bro, what are you wearing, hey, dude? Let's check them up. This will all be for nothing if we get lost. This place. They, uh, they're called the Nord Mines, apparently. Going through them. Oh. That being the case. This road should take us to Grand Trad. All right. We'll check for our way around next stop, Grand Trad. All right. This the Nord Mines are full of complex paths. We can go through them to approach the capital undetected. We'll be going through the Nord Mines. Are you ready? Yep. Good. We should hurry. Our focus is on making it to the Royal Capital. The Nord Mines. Located northwest of Grand Trad, it is resource rich with magla crystals. Its proximity to the capital simplified crystal Oh my god, the cursor's moving. The Sanctus Church's sudden Look, guys, we're traveling. Stopped work in its tracks. Exiting the forest, the party continues along the wooded road leading to the derelict mine. Are we gonna fight kobolds? The mine's entrance should be should be just ahead. Don't stray off the path. Huh? Who? Huh? What's the matter? What I may be imagining it, but I can't help but feel we're being watched. No. Hmm. The steep in the wilderness, though, couldn't be. Sorry, I'm just on the edge. Looking for an opening to escape. Don't forget, I have my eye on you. Dude, Stroll's in it to win in, right? He's with us for the ride. That large bird is known as a Corvo. It socks its prey from the sky, then goes in for an ambush. Uh, so what now? Like, we need another addition to our list of problems? Maybe we can hide and wait it out. We need to keep moving. We're already low on time as it decides. Let me guess. You can move much faster if I died back there, and you didn't need to keep an eye on me. Come on, I have a little faith. Let's go. Should I? If you're truly worthy, then demonstrate it. We need to move. Don't fall behind. Lumos. Hold on, there's some wild dogs over there. <sighs> Hundos, the beast hunt in pact. Should they come at us together, we'll be overwhelmed if we're not careful. We can't give them a chance to surround us. We'll need to find a different path for now. Oh, sure. Why do you hesitate, lad? It's just a pack of wild dogs, barely worth a moment's worry for someone such as you. Of course. Oh. Good, you're starting to catch on. You can't let the fear paralyze you. First, take a good look at your foes. Consider this. Consider is this your first meeting, or are you already familiar with them? Got it. Once you assess their strength, prepare your next move. If they're strong, if they're stronger, approach with caution. If they're weak, cut them down quickly. Now size up that hondo. What do you make of it? It's weaker. Aye. Indeed, you slipped out of death's grip at the fort, so this should hardly be a challenge. Sizing up enemies. Press L2 to activate face sight and identify an enemy's strength via their color. Lower enemies will glow blue. 
enemies of the same level will glow yellow, and the higher level enemies will glow red. Unknown enemies will appear white. When you have leveled up to a point where you can think where you think you could overpower certain enemies, you can simply approach the enemy to see if their color has changed. When engaging a wicker for force, clear your mind and simply do what must be done. Put them to the sword. Weaker enemies can be defeated quickly with a simple square attack. In addition, being attacked on the field by a weaker enemy will not force you into a squad battle, though the protagonist will still take damage. If you press L1 when a cursor is over an enemy, you'll be locked onto an enemy. That enemy will always be in view, and you can easily close the distance by attacking it. All right. Give it a shot. So level one. Right there. Enemies up ahead. Forward. Push through. Right. Oh, that's interesting. So if they're weaker, we don't have to do the turn-based combat. That's interesting. I have one more. I have one more rule for you to keep in mind. Got it. Never drop your guard, even against weaker foes. On the battlefield, fortunes can turn if you let up even for a moment. Should that happen, change your tactic and fight together as one. Stay calm and you'll be fine. So squad battle initi initiates the the turn-based combat. Uh, depleting its break gauge with square attacks, the battle starts with a great advantage in your favor. However, if you're attacked by an enemy stronger than you, you'll be forced into a battle where the enemy is at an advantage. Survey the situation and use different methods to fight. Never stop looking for ways to seize any tactical advantage. Tutorials Dungeon. Fighting in dungeons. Evaluate the enemies in your vicinity, then decide whether you dispatch them quickly with square, attack to stun them first, or jump directly to a strategic squad battle by using triangle. Base sight will help you determine your battle approach while staying out of enemy's reach. Okay. I'm counting on you. There's no replacement for first-hand experience. Get comfortable with fighting before we reach Grand Trad. I need to be sure you can defend yourself. Not being the case. Unknown. <laughs> Fuck. I missed. Ow! Trying a battle. If you're unhappy with how the battle is going, you can restart it from the beginning. Skill selection assist. Pressing R2 assist will automatically move the cursor to an enemy who has a weakness to a skill you have. Wish we knew their affinity. Rip. Oh no, we didn't kill him. He fucking died, dude. Glad we overcame. That was the last of them. Oh no. I turned around. There we go. Don't be careless. Here I go. Seeker! Gotta be sure. Take this! Ow. Still fight. So I guess we're always in, or we can always use the R-type? Bouncy Bark. Their enemies around. 
Ow. Oh, I think it no noticed me. Let's do this. Eyes up, novices. Let's go. Scour. You hit their weakness. Take this. One minute. Ah. Only one left. They will fight. Come forth, loyal soul. Cool. I think I'm getting used to this. I think we're in the clear. Bouncy bark. God, we're too it powerful. We made short work of them. Hello. What is it? Haven't seen you a lot around these parts before. You wouldn't be bandits, now would you? Uh, you seem dodgy yourself. You really think I look like a bandit? Oh hell. Well, at the very least, I suppose you're not crooks. Hmm. I guess I'm just on edge. I know it's funny to think so in a deserted place like this, but I feel like I'm being followed. You too? What? Well, what are you doing in such a remote place? Whoa, well, I'm not your enemy, friend. I'm just a peddler. I'm a regular, uh, I'm a regular nearby, so I came for, uh, for business. But the beasts are real bloodthirsty today, so I assumed a human appeared. For instance, have you heard about the, the human who appears from nowhere and wipes out entire towns? Terrifying, no? <clears throat> My apologies. Didn't mean to sour the mood. Um, hey, would you lot be interested in buying something? We can listen to them. Uh, we should probably buy some of that. Oh, that's so expensive. I broke it a nighter. Sell it. Okay. Now then. Okay. Now then. Oh, these are these are all just sellable items. I'll keep the apple. Hmm. In my trade, you hear a lot of gossip. Plenty of rumors lately, but bees from all over getting more feral by the day. And when that happens, a human eventually appears out of nowhere and destroys some town or village. It chills me to even speak of it. I've heard... I heard that monsters have been running amok lately at the nearby border fort. Hope nothing bad has happened. Oh, whoa. Oh. Have you found something worth selling? I can give you a good price. Plenty of stuff in these woods, lots of rubbish, but some materials too. You won't catch me scavenging for it today, though. I'll stay put until the bees settle down some. You find something worth selling, well, you know where to find me. All right, merchant, I know where to find you. This battle's out. This is what I'm to go. I won't hold back. Wind. Just one left. Keep it up. Oh, finish the job. Wish every fight was that easy, eh? Not bad. Not bad Level five. Give me that lock, baby. Don't get too relaxed. These monsters are really <laughs> through. Catch one. Well done. <laughs> I'll find you. Thank you. Nice. I bet we'll find a use for that. <laughs> Push through. <laughs> oh, don't hurt me. Here we go. Let's clear the boat. Tougher than I thought. These crows hurt. Yeah. 
Show up. Take this. Let's keep this up. We'll take care of this ball. Okay. Don't forget the body shot. Let's go. Last one. Third down. I think you have this. No more third bread. Okay. Nice. Some still around. Careful now. All right. How's that? Let's do this. Let's go. Why be close to death here? It's okay. We can do that. Even easier than expected. Bonus. I think we're in the clear. I'm on my way. Hold, the air here has suddenly grown tense. Got a moment? Hey, what's going on? We've been surrounded, even out here. It would seem that the monsters are at least of our concerns. <laughs> I know you can hear me, show yourself, or would you rather we come to you? Damn, awfully shot for an old goat, ain't ya? <laughs> the bastards lived long enough, kill them quick. It's a peril. We must do this. I've never fought soldiers before, but I won't waver. Scour! Oh. What is that? Never seen anything like it. I like how we can just freely transform now. It's not an igniter. Take this. Ah. Ah. Got no mercy for you. Why are they targeting me? Press circle to guard, which consumes one turn icon. Wait, what? Guarding greatly decreases the damage your character takes and prevents any weaknesses from being exploited. This prevents the enemies from gaining turns too. What's that? So I guess when I'm being targeted, I want to defend. God, that hurts. During squad battles, your information will affect the damage party members deliver and receive. Wait, hold on. Your information will affect the damage party nearby deliver and receive depending on their position. Those in the front row deal more damage with melee attacks. Those in the back row deal less melee damage, but take less damage from enemies. During battle, you can change your formation by pressing the key assigned to up and down to move party members between rows. You're barely holding together. You gotta heal to up the rear Let's go. That's interesting. Take this. Let's do this. Hold still, please. Shot. Wind. Why are you talking me? What's that? Ray for impact. Third. Use your eyes. Got no mercy for you. I like Galaka's giving Skull shit. <laughs> You gotta aim better than that, troll. Damn, 80 XP? Are they soldiers from the fort? They survived. No, that can't. That couldn't be. They simply deserters, aren't they? That's not what I'm asking. How would they have already mobilized a pursuit? I don't know, but I think it's safe to say I'm at the least of your worries at this point. But in any case, we should probably keep moving. Let's go. I mean, Stroll can be a spy. 
Here we are. It looks so creepy. Well, I guess you did say it was abandoned. I, the Crown Theocracy, ordered it, so I haven't been to this place in quite some time. Despite the royal decree, I still hear a miners risking it all to come to this place, seeking the reach, uh, riches left within. I'll happily trade some illegal miners uh, for the armed detachment of soldiers pursuing us. Shall we hurry inside? You're not wrong there. Make preparations if you must, but be quick about it. I like how the merchant came with us. What the fuck? Last night's incident wiped out the port's entire garrison. Surely the lack of manpower needed for search, uh, to search for deserters somehow were already being pursued. Regardless, due to the nature of our mission, it'd be best if they considered us dead. Dead. Let's push through this mine while we still can. So it wasn't just my imagination. I think we're being followed this whole time. But like Gar uh, Grius said, something's off. When the human came out of nowhere, it wiped out all the soldiers to the last. Then again, maybe it didn't come out of nowhere, but if that's the case, no, it couldn't be. You know something. What is it? Tell me, surprised? Didn't think there'd be others uh, with business at the abandoned mine. Why, why come here of all places? Is there someone you know inside? I could ask you the same thing. Haven't you heard? This place was abandoned, but a few blokes stayed behind to do some less than legal mining. One of them is an old friend of mine. I s sell the stones he digs out. But enough about that. Surely you met for a reason. So if there's something you need, allow me to accommodate you. Give me more revival medicine. Thank you. I'm on my way. What's up, Galica? There's probably a bunch of shady miners in there, right? We'll be safe around them. Are we going to be safe around them? Fear not, most of them are the same miners who worked here before the closure. Besides, it'd be against their best interest to cause a scene and risk the crown theocracy coming down on this place, right? Uh, sounds like they won't be a problem then. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. For our pursuers to catch up with us, it'll be a whole mess of trouble that I'd rather not deal with. Let's move with haste. With haste. It said quiet. Are you sure there are still people working here? That disquieting stillness you feel, those are your instincts alerting you to the bloodthirst in the air. Judging by the people who were after us before, then it's likely... Stop. Don't move. Oh. Don't you dare move. Soldiers. You're trapped like rats now. Lay down your arms and surrender peacefully. As I thought, we walked right into an ambush. They got us at a disadvantage. Catching us in this narrow bottleneck, we need to turn back now. It's no use. The entrance is already barricaded with soldiers. <laughs> Surrender immediately. You've got nowhere to run. If you don't comply, yeah, then the miners will pay the price for your insolence. Wait. This is a misunderstanding. We're not deserters. We were forced to retreat. We had no choice. I, uh, you human. Ah, uh, yes. We're well aware of your predic uh, predicament. That's exactly why we can't have any survivors. Our orders are to let no one escape. Well, it appears we stepped into a whole damn conspiracy. We have no choice. We fight our way through. Here they come. Stop them. The soldiers say. Squad battle. I should probably back up there. Yeah. Oh damn, we do a lot of damage. What the fuck? Oh please. Brace yourselves. Forward. I can't believe this. Reinforcements. Great. Reinforcements. Only two items left. Fucking love Galica. Twenty damage. That's all you got, huh? Let's catch our breath. That'll do it. I think I should heal. What are you doing? Oh. 
falling back. Seeker! Win! Tough one. I sounded like Sora there. Let's end this. Damn it! Forward! Only one left! <laughs> Uh, let me heal. So skills and then DA. There we go. Scrap metal. Someone's collapsed. Oh god, he's got a, he's got the Zoro wound. Hey, are you alright? I told you. I didn't see no desert. Please. Don't kill me. The life is gone from his what? eyes. No! Why? To send a message, boy. Either we give ourselves up, or these innocents pay the price. But the only one who could know we survived. And the only one who could send soldiers after us. Oh, come on, let's move. It's the ones that we saved from the fort, right? What are you doing? Or the first guy we encountered at the fort? We'll lose this fight. Take them out. We gotta keep I'll get some distance. Oops, I didn't mean to attack. Take this! Can you stand it? I can't believe this. Let's catch our breath. Hopefully that's the last of them for a while. I don't think it's gonna be the last one. Just as, I, just as I thought, it makes sense now. It appears that we're expected. The commander. I knew I'd find you here. You were the only one who never went up to the fort itself, after all. It couldn't have been anyone else. Who would have thought three sorry stragglers would make it past a whole unit of assassins? Bastard. You never intended for anyone to survive. You knew the human would be there. Naturally. You heard the reports. I only put more bait on the hook. I wasn't expecting that damn thing to be rampaging already. You sent those soldiers to their deaths. Why? Because the kingdom's guard is powerless before the humans, and only a pile of bodies will prove that to the public. So someone wants the king's guard disgraced, and when the people need him most, a savior rises as their shield. Is that your game? Savior? Speak plain, boy. You think he's one of Luis's men? A pitiful flock needs its shepherd. If a little blood is what it takes to show them who their real savior is, then that's a price easily paid. I like that's how his mouth is moving, but his teeth guy. aren't. <laughs> For your savior. <laughs> they aren't the first. The soldiers cry for reinforcements. The villagers plead to be spared. But I know better than to confront a human. A... a village? You refused. Wait, then you were the one who... Seven years ago, the first flames day of June, a village in the northern hills was razed to the ground. A village called Harlia. Hmm? Oh, yes, that might have been a name. Then you made a fatal mistake, Klinger. You left one survivor! Stay back! Help me! <laughs> uh, 
You played right in Help! Hands, help you know. me! <clears throat> this was the only road without checkpoints. A simple deduction. You're a disgrace to your title. I may not make it out alive, but as for you, you're hopeless! <laughs> oh, thou who art Oh, of course. Oh, thou anguished traveler. It is time for thou to choose thy path. O oh, Lodestar, whose light reveals the king's own path, awaken. <coughs> what? <laughs> what the? Oh, no, I can't fail Lord Amis. Without him, I've got nothing left. <laughs> you struggle in vain. I won't let you rob me of my glory. This is the way of the real world, little lordling. You call this real? Leaders abandon their people and the innocent die by their scorn. If that's the real world, then it can die alongside you! Man, they've really been pulling out their own hearts, huh? My name is Leon Stroll de Haliatus. My home and my family were taken from me. I am the last of my house, I am the last of my noble bloodline, and in the name of my people, I will strike you down where you stand! Bro. The voice acting. Like, I think, I think, oh, I said skip. <laughs> no, oh, I think it was about the time for battle anyways. Wait. Well, better show him how to use it. I don't know what you think you're doing, but I'll not cave to an empty threat like that. This ignite is all I need to turn you to ash. You lot, get to it. Cover me. So he scampers off to protect himself, and his subordinates get to be his living shields. The man's showing his true colors. I'll fix the filthy coward with the end he deserves. The igniter's powerful, but it takes care and calculation to wield. If you sense danger, steal your defenses and endure it. What I was gonna say was that I think that was the first time I've ever felt like the same, like the same energy, same tone as like Japanese voice acting, which ne like rarely happens. I would say that was probably the first time whoever voice acted a stroll there. The freedom of a to the rear guard. I won't hold back. Scour. Definitely get ads first. Take this. Cuss you. Die. Defense rose. Okay. Warrior. I'll cut you down. The freedom of a seeker. Wind. Insane. It's a tough wind. Die. Ow. Die. The freedom. Keep casting. Take this. Die. I shall vanquish evil. Come forth, royal soul. Critical. Captain's uniform. Oh, five. For greater heights. Nice. I feel stronger already. 
Impossible! <laughs> Never expected a commissioned officer would end up a wild-eyed zealot. How... how did I do all that? And without an igniter? Just like him? Who are you two, really? I... I'm Leon Strong. Just a fallen noble from the countryside. Back there, Klinger mentioned a village that was raised by a human. They sent for help, but he abandoned them. Halia was its name. I'm the son of its lord, and now I know what really happened. We sent our fastest riders, but we were doomed from the start. If Luis was behind it, then that's all I need to know. He's the one who will answer for it. I have my own reason to fight now. I don't want to be an ally of convenience alone, so once more, please, let me join your cause. All right, welcome aboard. What do you say, Grius? <sighs> I see keeping an eye on you was too much trouble in the first place. So you've no objections? What say you, friend? We're brother in arms. Brothers in arms, my friend. Brothers in... Uh, yes. I'll do my best to deserve that honor. Now, onward. Friendship! The proud noble, strong. Within him dwells the virtue of the warrior. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. I love that. Together we stand. Cool. I feel struck by inspiration. I found a new way to harness this power. I can sense a heroic embodiment of the warrior from Troll. Did you feel that just now? What's going on? Does it have something to do with that odd magic? Now that I think about it, once you awakened, isn't it weird that Stroll followed not long after? What does this mean? 